think we all know that animating is something really costly, both financially and physically. In most anime, animators do those reusable frames to make the characters look like they are talking or have a still frame and just have audio in the background. And imagine having the need to have a high studio level equipment just to recreate a CGI character in motion. In the near future, this can probably be a cheaper and viable alternative for more indie films to make Hollywood level CGI or anime studios to reduce their budget even more. You have probably have heard of this AI but if you haven't, it is called the first order motion model for image animation. It can perform not only just faces but also any motions that are trained upon like the running horses we just saw and this fashion spin? I, I, I don't know how to exactly describe this motion. Modeling? Hmm. Best thing about this AI is that you only need one input and it can gather all the information it needs. The AI will then animate the input which is the source image based on the driving video, which is a video that the source image is going to imitate. 2 Minute Papers has a really clear explanation video already, so I'll probably just skip this part and if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the description. So why exactly is this in any form better than deepfakes? In comparison, deepfakes AI normally needs a lot of source images to determine how a person looks like, then generate them moving or speaking, which is more accurate for sure, but takes way too much time than this new AI. The new AI currently is not in high quality, but the results, considering only just taking in one source image, is actually mind blowing. For real human faces, it can generate their teeth easily when they open their mouth, which was not in the source image too. This is probably achieved through training model really well and it also uses inpainting techniques to generate extra information like the side of the heads or the background that was not present before. Moving on from human faces, for specific anime characters it can easily make them talk like actual people instead of speaking like a robot with the same mouth movement over and over again. Even though the results here are not all great, but keep in mind the model was trained for human faces and I used it on anime faces, so it sometimes has difficulties picking up the traits that normal human faces won't have, like the lack of details on the mouth. And at this point I got a bit more creative. I tested it out on some manga drawings. The results are still kind of imperfect, but this really does show how well the AI can pick up faces and animate them. Well it is not like I have been always successful with all my samples so far, so don't have your hopes up too much when you are testing this AI yourself. On the other hand, this really does look like some anime games animations. It literally looks like it's taken out from a game. But for a bigger surprise, well, not really since this AI already works perfectly on real human faces, it works really well on some cinematic characters like from League of Legends or even World of Warcraft. Not only that, the Witcher Keanu Reeves from Cyberpunk 2017, 2017, 2077, Laura Croft and Legion from Rainbow Six all also have really impressive results. Oh, and, and there's Trevor. Well, that's about it for today's testing. If you want to try out the AI yourself, I'll link the collab down in the description. If you got any questions or quirky ideas that you want to share, join my Discord I created recently. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you all next time.